takes is homespun American baked goods that make people happy. I started baking and selling chocolate chip cookies when I was 11 at my dad's farm in Southampton. And when I graduated college, I rented a bake shop and started a bakery business. People that like the cookies, they go and tell their friends and it starts to spread. And we started wholesaling cookies, first of course in New York City, Long Island, then the Northeast. And I set a goal that I was going to sell my business when I was 55. I followed through with my plan to sell and that's how I met Riverside. When I sold, I really wanted to step away from the company. We put Kathleen on the board and kept her in the two roles she enjoyed the most, product development and PR, making sure that every cookie that came off the line was a real Tate's cookie. We brought in a new CEO, and then we helped them round out the rest of the management team. When I joined Tate's, there were only two salespeople on board. We added 23 more salespeople, and one of the biggest enablers of their success was a tool that we developed with Riverside called the Sales Playbook. When retailers saw how Tate sold, they gave us more and more distribution, so more facings, more SKUs, and ultimately, that further fueled our same-store sales growth. When we invested, Tate's had largely been in specialty retailers. We brought the company nationwide throughout grocery and are beginning to dive into convenience stores. To keep up with demand, we invested heavily in manufacturing. We created a dedicated baking facility in East Mauritius, where now all 37,000 square feet that we have are dedicated to baking. We built a new building and moved the warehouse and corporate offices to the new location. We also invested in product development. One of the great ones was Tiny Tates, a quarter-sized cookie in a snack pack. People bought them by the case, a runaway home run hit for us. We saw growth in terms of top line sales as well as gross margin. Also, the company rebranded with new packaging. We invested in marketing, more than doubling market awareness of the company. And we invested very heavily in distribution. In 2018, we were thrilled to close a transaction with Mondelez, one of the largest food companies in the world and the owners of cookies such as Oreos and Bella Vita. My journey from the farm to a successful brand, to Riverside, to my final exit. <laughs> it's unreal. It's unreal.